What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here, back for another challenge. Now, as you guys and girls already know, the 30 day challenge was a huge success and a lot of people have asked me, Liz, keep trying to put out that content. I learned so much, I made so much, particularly those of you guys in the Discord group. Now, if you're new to my channel, just please remember the focus of this channel is all Amazon, all reselling, and all ways to hustle and make money. So that's why I'm bringing you a brand new fresh challenge for Q4. So what this challenge is gonna be is I originally wanted to do this as a Pokemon challenge, but truth be told, let's just pretend we're brand spanking new and we're starting out and all we have is $500 worth of gift cards that let's just say our family gave us, right? So I'm starting this brand new thing with $500 worth of gift cards and we're gonna see how many times I can roll this into and how much money I can make by the end of Q4 using only these $500 worth of gift cards. So yes, I could make this a Pokemon challenge and yes, I could go out there and hunt for Pokemon cards, but we know Pokemon cards are harder to find than the Holy Grail right now. So I would be wasting a huge amount of time and a huge amount of effort. So what I think I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna do the Q4 challenge and buy pretty much anything I can find, flip it for as many times as I possibly can, and we'll see how I end up out of the end of this. And eventually, at some point after that, I'll start the brand new Pokemon challenge. So let's go ahead and get started with the Q4 challenge. $500 challenge, how much money can I make off of these $500 worth of gift cards? And uh, God, my family's cheap. All they gave me is these uh, prepaid vanilla cards. Jesus, like I could have gotten a better gift. But either way, we're gonna turn it into a couple thousand dollars at least. So let's see where we can do. So let's get started and let's talk more about the challenge. Let's do this. All right, so first things first, let me lay out what my plan is so you guys kind of have an understanding of why I'm doing it like this. I would usually start on Discord, which means that I would sit at my computer and allow alerts to be sent to me and then buy stuff. But there's a lot of things that play with Discord. I gotta wait for things to ship to me and then I gotta wait for things to actually get sold on eBay and put them on eBay. So there's a lot of waiting time with that. So instead of what I think I'm gonna start it off with is I'm gonna head out to the stores and I'm gonna shoot for finding shoes that can be quickly sold on StockX and Goat. So if you don't know about, about StockX and Goat, they're absolutely amazing. They are sites and I will show you right now where you can go over and right now you can see I sold an item here, but you pretty much find whatever shoe you find in store. So I'll give you an example of a shoe that I found a while back. This shoe right here, I found this shoe inside of a Marshalls for $37 and I managed to sell it in a size, I believe it was like a size 11 and a half and I sold it for $100. Now it's at 130, which is fine, but I was pretty happy with taking home about 60 to $70. And the fantastic thing about these is that I basically, can immediately sell this for 120 if I have it in hand. So it means it's a same day sale as I have it. And then I gotta just ship the shoes. They provide me the label, I ship it into StockX, and then I get the money in my PayPal account. So I'm gonna shoot for that method so that I can accumulate some cash a little bit faster. And then after I get a return, uh, whatever return I get, I will go ahead and use that money to actually start buying things on Discord and then shoot for maybe two rounds of buy and sell and see how well that works. So I'm shooting for 20 to 30% profit margins. I'm not really going any higher even though I could. And that's primarily because I want a fast flip because I wanna to try to flip this money as fast as possible. So that's basically the rules. I'm gonna first start off by primarily using StockX and GOAT and then we'll see what happens from there. So let's go to see what I find. Later. All right, so I'm back and here's what I managed to actually cop out there in the world. So. I did go to Ross and there was a target in between, a target that I usually hit and I know for a fact that they stock their trading cards on Tuesday and Thursday. So it was around midday Tuesday and I decided I'd stop on in and I actually got lucky and I found these. And let me talk about why I got lucky. There are many targets out there that limit the amount of actual trading cards that one person can buy. So if somebody actually wants to go in there, they would have to go in there multiple times. And if the management catches on, they will ask them to leave. So what I basically did as I had my assistant Rob with me and we each went in there a couple times and we managed to come out with these hanger packs which I think right now are selling between 10 and 12 bucks and I paid uh, five dollars for these so I'll probably put them in a lot with these these here cost three dollars a pack and they sell for about eight to nine bucks and I managed to get 12 of these and then I also got two of the blaster boxes which I can see right here, there's a couple sets that have these blaster boxes. These are 20 bucks each and they sell for about 35. So what I'm gonna basically do is put them in a lot or something on eBay and resell those. And altogether, I spent 40 on these two. And then on these, these were five, 20 bucks on these and $30 on these, so 50 
and $100 on these actual cards. So those should flip pretty fast and give me a pretty decent amount of profit. Now let's talk about the shoes that I actually found at Marshalls. And I have talked about it in another video. I've actually resold a couple of these and I managed to find more at another Marshalls. And these are the KD Trey of VII or eights. And I copped these for $44.99. I found several pairs and I know that these move pretty fast because they're like so clean and slick looking. They're selling for $89 on eBay. And then if we take a look at StockX, which I talked about is the fast money, we can have a look and see what they're actually doing over StockX. So usually when I'm in store, the best thing to do is do a couple things. If they have the box, then obviously I always check StockX first to see what I can get for them. Now, if they're not in the box, I'll check eBay, but do not forget to check GOAT because GOAT will allow you to sell shoes with no box. And again, GOAT money is pretty much instant. If you take the bid, they will immediately send over to you. So eight and a half, I actually already listed these. I'm listed at the eight and a half right here for 71. And these are selling pretty well. So I imagine that these are gonna fetch me what they say, $71. So let's do the math on that. If I paid 48.13 with tax, I end up getting a whole $15. And while people might be like, God, Liz, that's not really that much. That is 30% because I did pay 45. And that's fine with me right now for the purposes of flipping this fast because I do believe they'll flip fast. And I got five pairs of these in different sizes. So I imagine that will make a quick $100 almost. So $100 there and a couple hundred dollars here and might be all together, I end up with two to $300 profit from this. Now, the last thing that I got that I do not have because of the fact that I have a white cat. So I do not want that white cat to get hair all over this actual shirt but I picked up a couple of these and whether or not they sell quickly or slowly is yet to be determined, but I do know they sell extremely well. These are the Kyrie Irving Friends t-shirt. I picked these up for $9.99 at Ross and they are selling, it looks like for as much as 39 plus shipping. So it looks like this one was 25 plus shipping and that was a charity one. And let's see which other one I see that's selling. This here was $60 plus shipping in the XXL, which I do happen to have an XXL. So they are selling. They're just not selling as regularly as um, I would like. So I might have to sit on it, but that's fine. I was not going to say goodbye to these. And obviously, since I didn't even hit $500, I needed to buy something. And so that's what I went with. So this one here sold for 40. I do have the big XXL ones, which seem to be selling extremely well. So we will see what this ends up selling for and one last thing that i did manage to cop is this pair of shoes which is the air regency amarillo and you'll see that i got these for 49.99 at again marshall's and the reason i got them is i saw them on StockX and they could sell for 88 dollars. so 88 dollars i'll get for these and i paid 50 so 53 with tax so all together those will fetch about 25 dollars. so 25 dollars here 25 dollars there the purpose of this challenge is just to flip this stuff as much as possible. Now, I will try to get out there again because as I told you guys before, I these these are no good anymore, but this one, I didn't get the chance to spend the whole thing. So I need to jump out there one more time and try and spend all that. But I managed to do all that in a total amount of about under three hours of work, and we will see how much that gets me on this $500 Q4 gift card challenge. So any questions in our comments about some of the apps that I showed you and or other ways to try and resell whatever in the heck we can in the shortest amount of time possible, post them below. I always personally answer them and I'll see you guys and girls on the next video.